Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using array formulas in Microsoft Excel. I have in this worksheet fictitious data. I have a pretest, 15 scores, and a post test with 15 scores, as well as five items that can be either true or false. And I'm going to use these data to demonstrate how we can use array formulas in Excel. Array formulas allow us to make relatively complex calculations in one cell and sometimes make it a bit easier to perform the calculations we need. At other times, a standard formula would work just fine. So let's take a look at an example where the array formula could save us some time. Looking at these pretest and post-test scores, say we want to calculate the average of the absolute value of all the differences between the pretest and post-test scores. One way to do this with standard functions would be to go to each cell next to the scores and use this function. It would be the absolute value, or ABS, of the pretest minus the post-test. We would autofill that down, and then in another cell, take the average of those values. Equal sign average and then C2 through C16 that returns a value of 4.4. We can perform the same calculation using an array formula and the formula will be contained in one cell. So I'll use this cell C17 and this will be equal sign average then ABS for absolute value and this time it'll be A2 through A16 minus B2 through B16 and close the parentheses and instead of hitting enter as I would with a regular formula I'm going to enter this as an array formula which is control shift enter control shift enter you can see it returns the value 4.4. Looking up here in the formula bar, you can see the braces, the beginning and the end of this formula. That indicates it's an array formula. We can't put those braces in manually. We have to use Control Shift Enter to create an array formula. Notice here that if I click into the formula bar, for example, to make any changes, the braces disappear. So if I want to enter this as an array formula, I'm going to have to use Control shift enter again. So that's one example of where an array formula could save some time. Using these items up top, I'm going to show you another. Let's say that each of these items indicate a risk factor for a mental health diagnosis. So if we look at all the items together and any one of the items are true, we want to indicate that there's a high risk that this particular mental health disorder is present and if all of the values are false we want to indicate low risk. So the function should return the string high risk or the string low risk. Again high risk if any one of these values is true. And for this example let's say that it's a substance use disorder. So here in cell E4 I'm going to paste a standard formula that would return either the high risk or low risk according to the rules that I mentioned. If any one of these values is true, it would be high risk. So I'm going to paste this in and we can take a look at this function. So we can see it starts with the if function and then in parentheses we have the or function and it has every item equal to true. So with that OR function, if any of these items equal true, any of the ones listed here, the IF statement is going to return high risk, otherwise low risk. If we wanted to change the rules so that all of the items had to be true to return high risk, we would just replace this OR with an AND. So we can see here in this situation with five values, this function is fairly long. However, if we were dealing with a situation where we had, say, 20 values, 
This formula would be quite long and it would take a while to enter it because we would need to specify each of these conditions individually for each cell. And instead of just the five cells here, it would be 20. So in this instance, it would be a time-saving strategy to use an array formula. So moving to the cell below this standard formula, I'm going to enter in an array formula that will accomplish the same goal. And you'll notice here the underlying logic is the same. So it'll be equal sign if, then or, and then instead of listing each cell individually, I'm going to select E2 through I2, and then equal to true. and then add the value of true and the value of false, just as I did for the standard formula. So I have high risk in quotation marks, comma, low risk in quotation marks. Close parentheses, and again, rather than just hit enter, I'm gonna use control shift enter to enter this as an array formula. Control shift enter, you can see we have the same result. So let's test this out. I'm going to change the true findings to false, and that should change the result to low risk, and it does. And if I change any item to true, for example, item two, I would expect it to change to high risk, and it does indicate high risk. I hope you found this video on using array formulas in Excel to be helpful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me, and I'll be happy to assist you.